Boxing King Media in association with Boxraw. Wayne Smith, trainer of Marcel Braithwaite. Big fight for your guy tomorrow night, British title eliminator Thomas Isomba. Before we talk about the fight, there's obviously been a lot of controversy and a lot of things have been, a lot of accusations that have been chucked your way uh, this week in regards to the, the promotion of the event and uh, the weight. So let's quickly talk about the press conference. Obviously, yourself and Marcel never made it down. Uh, just tell us and you know, explain why, why you didn't come down. Basically, on um, was it Tuesday? We come up on Tuesday for the media day and the open workout and we never had the hotel so it's like a two and a half hour journey from Liverpool door to door to here a two and a half hour, hour journey back it's a five hour round trip so I wasn't prepared to take my fighter who's, who I'm, I'm taking care of five hours, five hours, five hours that's like five, ten, fifteen hours per a week when he's making championship weight. So I think it was unfair on him not to have a hotel. Because I did ask for the hotel to be booked from the Wednesday, obviously because the weigh was on Thursday. But there was no hotel booked. I've got the Texas to approve, prove that uh, the hotel was only booked from the Thursday to the Friday. So I told him I wasn't coming to the weight, the, 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 the press conference. Yeah, a bit, a bit of unprofessionally yeah, yeah, but I think it was really unprofessionally not to get us a room. You know, it's a big fight. It's, as you said, it's a British title eliminator. So we should have got us a room. You know, Marcel's, he's making like eight stone three. He's a, he's a super flyweight. You know, he needs, he doesn't need to be traveling up and down like that. It's, it's different if you're doing a press conference like months before the fight to, to promote a fight. But like fight week, you want to be sitting in your room in your zone not driving up and down the country so I refused to do it yesterday and I explained it I didn't want to do it yesterday but I got to get I sent the Texas to Cades all the Pro Bella crew knew I wasn't coming up and then to my surprise I'm watching the, the, the press conference and both myself and myself were getting slated to death saying we were st only sitting in the hotel over the road and I, I said it would perfect affect Marcel's performance, which I did say that, but not driving 10 minutes over the road from driving from Liverpool, two and a half hours plus with traffic there and back, which I wasn't prepared to do. You know, we got up here today, we got stuck in traffic for the weigh-in. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's, so he's, he's come in today, once again, he, he, we got here like half 11, um, got to the shopping centre quarter to he's weighed in he's been he's been a point seven over and like it's like I look at him and I think first and foremost for me I've got his health and well-being at stake so I'm looking at him he's got, he's got no room booked he's not, I mean he hasn't checked in his room it was booked for today he has not checked in so you tell me how I can get it from Liverpool from if I go early I get caught in rush hour traffic so if I leave like nine I'm still going to get caught going over Snakes Pass, what we did. So we're like, you can't, you can't win. It's not like he, it's just like down the road. You've just explained to me that you went to do it up in here, uh, some interviews in Manchester, and that took you two and a half hours. So he's come from Liverpool, so we can't fly here. So that was the whole reason. I thought, I thought Sonny, Sonny acted immature by trying to speak on behalf of of, of a somber, but Sonny just be, be Sonny. You know, I'm old enough to be Sonny's dad, so it doesn't matter. I'm not really bothered, bothered what he says about me. Also, Marcel's not really bothered about what he says about him, but, but he seems to have some sort of... I don't for, for, for Marcel. I don't know what it is, but he just doesn't like him for some reason. And Marce, Mar just, just on that note, Wayne, uh, mm -hmm. before we move further, did you, obviously, when you've said that we need a hotel room, otherwise we're not going to be able to make it, you know, um, for the press conference, was that conversation, did that ever yeah, take off? I've got, I've got all, all the texts. All the all the all the texts have got on my phone. I could show you them all the texts. I've already showed them from to Sam, you know, the scout lad from here, Pro Bella, and um, I've told them all that. So I've showed them. It's all there in black and white. It's no fault of mine. And I'm I've got first and foremost, Marcel's health, health and well-being. You know it's like all these fighters know it's like making weight, and they don't need to be sitting on the in the car. You know what I mean? Up and down the motorways. They don't need it. 
So I took it upon my shoulders not to bring him up. So, you know, Sonny's a world champion. Good luck tomorrow night. So, but like, he promoted it well by talking more nonsense, load of shit. Basically, what he's already said on a, on a, on a previous interview, saying that number one, um, Marcel doesn't want, want to fight. Why would Marcel want to fight against Thomas Asamba? Number one, why? When he's boxed Sonny early on in his career, straight after Sonny he boxed Chiaras, who just fought for a world title. So why wouldn't he fight Thomas Asamba? Especially when he got it in his own town on a Wasman show. He had to pull out because he got an injury to his, to his shoulder. He got an injury to his shoulder, which, you know, boxing, the promoters had to get a, 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 what is it, MRI. He got an MRI scan. Promoters had to get a copy of it. Um, the, their management, like Sonny's his manager, Lee, and they got a copy of it. And the board got a copy of it. When he had his rehabilitation, they had to have all the rehabilitation forms to the board to make sure he was fit and well. That was in June. June, July, August, September. He boxed a journeyman in September to make sure his shoulders were all right, right? Then he got offered this fight again, September the 17th on the Wasman show. And I got to Texas to prove that. Leighton, I was signing an English go shirt to get, get it on. The same show Lyndon Arthur was on. He didn't want it then, because he was, wasn't in the gym or somber, right? Um, and then it got off. We tried to get on the Liverpool Pro Bella show. Marcel hasn't been out of the gym since he boxed in September. So, I don't know what can Taking on away from Thomas Somber, he's a good, very good, very good boxer. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I can't understand where all this shit's coming from. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just nonsense. With, with regards to obviously not making the weight, etc., does it affect Marcel in any way? Or because obviously I'm guessing he tried to make the weight. Um, is he at a bit of a disadvantage tomorrow? Or do you think it it'll play out fair? In all honesty, you know, not making the weight yeah, it is it's very unprofessional, and I get that. But circumstances surrounding, if he was staying in the hotel, right, he could have made the weight. He could have got a bath. He could have had a skip. He could have, you know, he could have took the weights off. Put points, points seven of a pound. You know, he could have lost that. Not a problem. Sweatsuits on, gone. That's gone. But as I say, after the long journey, I looked at him. I know my fights better than anyone. I looked at him and I thought, nah, I'm not letting him to try and dehydrate himself anymore. So I just said, no, we'll take the fine. And the fine is what we signed the contract, 500 pound per pound. We done the contract, so it's five hundred pound per pound. So we'll have to pay the fee of five hundred pound or per per pound, which is maybe three fifty. He'll have to pay. Then Grant Smith comes come with some pulled out to the, pulled out the yacht that he wants Marcel to pay a thousand pound fine, and he wants him to weigh in tomorrow at one hundred nineteen pound before twelve o'clock. It's not a, for what like is it a fucking big world title? Do you know what I mean? So I don't know where the fuck he got that one from. So whatever tra- rabbit he was trying to pull out the act there did not work because obviously they want a somber to fight. We want Marcel to fight. It's a great fight for the show. And for them to lose that fight on the show, it would be a shame because it's one of the better fights on the show. Um, Jack and Shabazz, great fight. Marcel and Somba, great fight. You know, Sonny's in a great fight. It's a, great, it's a, go- it's a good, good, very good show. Do you know, which we're looking forward to beating on now that we are here and settled, do you know? Well, I appreciate you giving me your, your viewpoint there, uh, Wayne. What, what I'll do is, I've got Marcel sat next near us. I'm just going to quickly get Marcel's brief opinion. Marcel, I know you ain't done many interviews. You've not really said a lot. So just a quick few words on, obviously, it's been questioned regards to, you know, they've been saying that you weren't going to turn up, you were, you were going to pull out, etc. So just a message for Thomas and even Sonny, uh, your ex-opponent. Uh, what can we expect from you uh, tomorrow night? I'd say keep talking that shit because Sonny can't fight for him. At the end of the day, you can twist whatever you want, you know what I mean? But actions speak louder than words and smash his face in tomorrow. Well, I know you've got a big fight in 24 hours' time, so I'll keep it short, man. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Come on, respect, man.